mapping and then I'll trim. I don't um, map. I don't trim to the map. I just use the map to assess. So um, he he's probably this is a, he he's probably hasn't been trimmed. Um, oh, by the way, we're not editing these <laughs> <laughs> these uh, videos. We're just gonna shoot them. So if I stutter or um, whatever, you're just gonna see everything. So we're gonna do our best to get to get this um, right. So anyway, you can see. He, 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 this is probably, uh, I'm going to say three weeks of, of growth. It just rained here, uh, for about a week. And, um, so there's some exfoliated sole. Um, but this is a typical trim for this horse. Um, I'm going to start out with, uh, with a map. And the first thing I do is draw a line from the tip of the frog. To the dimple at the back of the foot. Like that. Okay. And the next thing I do is I put a line at the widest part of the foot, which if you take a rasp and run it out to the side, to the edge, where the you'll run out of, you'll come to the apex of that curve. That's the widest part of your foot. I like to put that on the inside of the at the sole edge and then the same thing on this side over here that's the widest part of the foot right there okay don't get too married to any uh, mark you make because that one was wrong you can see this one's a little further back so that's that's the actual widest part of the foot there so this line is here it's nice if that comes out um, perpendicular to the other line, but it'll tell you if the foot's crooked. If it's not perpendicular, then it's crooked. So there's the first, the first line, no, the first part of it. Okay, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is make a line at the back of the collateral groove, where the base of the heel is, is the widest part of the frog, and the collateral groove ends right there. So that's another line. And then I'm going to make another one at the front of the heels, at the back of the seat of corn. That's right there. And then the, ne the next one I'm going to make, I'm going to find the true tip of frog, which is right there. And there's the um, lamina. Halfway between is the coffin bone, where the tip of the coffin bone would be. And it's also the toe pillars. Okay, so. These are all um, landmarks that are that are important to um, assess. We want um, more of the foot to be behind the widest part of the foot. We want the bars to end at the widest part of the foot. Um, and there's a lot of other things that need to come together, and those we can um, discuss further. But that's basically the, the important parts to map. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to trace out his his uh, peripheral edge of his sole right here. Okay, and um, there is a, a pillar right here. It's a pillar right here where the peripheral edge of the sole and the and the the line where his uh, toe pillars are. It's toe pillar. So. I'm going to make four points here. Here's the contact point for his um, heels, and these are contact points for his toes. So from there, he's got a little leg and a little foot, so it's hard to get this rasp in here. I'm going to make a mark. I'm just joining the heel contact point to the, I'm drawing a line between the toe pillar and the heel contact point. Okay, so then I can come from, you can see it's a little square. This, now this defines, if I, cu if I cut this corner off and I cut this corner off, I've got his coffin bone. So that's his coffin bone, which is sitting nicely inside the peripheral edge of the sole. It's, it's very balanced. And then I can do, I can go from that point, I can draw a line from, uh, from opposite okay. toe pillar to 
opposite heel pillar, and then the same thing here. And if those lines intersect the the axis of the of the, the axis line, the first line I drew, um, then you've got a balanced foot. If it's off to one side or the other, it could be anywhere around that, and it'll show you where the crookedness is. <clears throat> okay, so this is um, that's a map. So that's how I map the foot.